Hello, Saka Fat. Hi, I'm Roma and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making some Brazilian cheesy balls. If you want to see how I make this recipe, guys, keep watching. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Now let's get baking. These are the ingredients that I will be using to make the recipe. We have some tapioca starch, some eggs, milk, feta cheese. We have some grated parmigiano reggiano, some vegetable oil, and salt. First thing I'm going to do is get my oil and milk over to the stove. I'm going to put them together and bring them to a boil. So I have two cups of milk here. That's going in here with one cup of cooking vegetable oil. And we're just going to bring that to a boil. So we got two boxes of the tapioca starch. And this is one of my favorite treats, you know, guys. I like the way it tastes. It's kind of um, gooey when you eat it. It's not like the regular flour. It's so good. So it's actually the tapioca flour. It's actually cassava. It's made from cassava. And cassava is one of my favorite foods. Anything with cassava starch or cassava, grated cassava, even boiled, fried, I love cassava. And we're going to add some salt to it. It's boiling up. That's what it's supposed to look like. Now we're going to just pour it into the starch. And it's just all over and we're just going to mix that and you want to use a water spoon to mix that and just get it all in there all right so that should be okay now i'm just going to leave it now to cool before I add the eggs, because we don't want the eggs to cook in there because this is hot. All right, let's see here, guys. This has been cooling for quite a while. So now it's ready. We can go ahead and finish it off. But first thing I'm gonna do, because I'm gonna use my hands to knead it, I'm gonna go wash my hands really good. So I'm just gonna make a little well there and we're gonna put our feather parmigiano reggiano okay so we got our cheese in here now we're gonna mix that up and then i'm gonna put the eggs in Now we're just going to kind of knead it together, just squeeze it all together. If you make this at home, you don't have to cook it all the same day because it's nice when it's hot. You can actually feel that gooey taste of the cassava and uh, you just freeze them. And then just uh, make it when you want it. Take it right out from the freezer into your oven. And it's good. All right, that's good. I'm just gonna wash my hands and I can roll them. Okay guys, so this is what the dough is supposed to look like. And now I'm gonna roll them up. So what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of oil on my hands again, wash them nice and clean. And we're just going to take some and just roll them into balls. So. The pan is on grease because we use a lot of oil in the recipe, so you don't have to worry about it sticking.
So this is what the little balls look like. All done. And I'm gonna bake them for the first 15 minutes at uh, 400 and then 15 more minutes at 300. Look at that, they are so good, look so delicious. Guys, oh, look at that. They are nice and soft. Oh, now these are so good when you eat them hot. So guys, this is it. And I'm gonna, I can't wait to try this. Okay, because it's, like I said, I love it. I just love this stuff. Look at that inside. That's what I said about it being gooey inside nice and hot now you can have this with uh butter but it's already got all that cheese in there so it's not necessary okay look at that when taste it mm. 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 Mm -mm. i can talk guys this is so good oh my goodness mm. And here you have it, guys, our delicious Brazilian cheesy balls. Thank you for watching, and until next time, guys, have yourselves a great day, and God bless.